local news, a major lawsuit has been served to the Jackson Police Department, Chief James Davis and Mayor Chukwe Antar Lumumba. Amongst the two dozen current and former police officers are taking the city and department to federal court over harassment, racial profiling, and poor working conditions allegations. Total News' Alex Love spoke to their attorney and breaks down their case. It's become common knowledge the Jackson Police Department is short on manpower and funding in certain areas. For attorney Robinson, this lawsuit may explain internal issues as to why. Pursuantly to these plaintiffs, the morale at the Jackson Police Department is lower than it's ever been. The city of Jackson Police Department need help. It begins with three female officers being harassed and pressured to take a lie detector test over releasing information deemed public through open records when it came to the mugshot of former officer Mark Coleman arrested for child exploitation. One lady, which is a detention officer at the jail, was terminated because of that. Because only they believed through a polygraph test that she provided the media. Uh, with information. So for the chief of police to send a written memo saying do not talk on these matters, put the officers in a position to lie to the public. Male officers accused of bigger violations are said to have never been terminated. The lawsuit continues with female detectives being forced to be security guards of the city impound lot with no access to bathrooms or lighting at night. There were none. No one came to let them go to the restroom. So they had to resort to a third world country style and use the bathroom in the public. There was a building there, but it was remain locked. No one putting them on duty gave them a key. The allegations go as far as accusing previous and current commanders of harassing a female detective and white officers to tamper with evidence, like recovering a revolver on scene from another officer or an intoxicated pedestrian hit being at fault. One of the white female plaintiffs, whom is likely right now maybe the only crime scene investigator there, whom was just criticized because she wouldn't say things regarding a certain case the way the chief of police wanted it. Then I have another white Caucasian male. He's naming incidents back in another administration, whom asked him to change records of who committed the crime. Mayor Shaquille Antar Lumumba comes up being accused of taking over $200,000 from JPD's budget for his bodyguards and SUVs, including E. Bradley Lumumba, who could be influencing JPD matters. And that was Alex Love reporting. All 21 plaintiffs in the case were cleared by the Equal Employment Opportunity Center to hire lawyers and sue. We reached out to Jackson Police and Mayor Shaquille Antar Lumumba's office for a response to this legal matter, but have not heard back.